I feel light as a feather. <laughs> um, me and Dr. Eiko, we spent a little time together last Wednesday. I thought it was going to be fellowship. The Lord took us somewhere else. <laughs> um, the time that we did spend together, um, right away, you know, she showered me with love. She really did, those few minutes. And then she got right to the point. She's like, um, tell me about your health. And I go, well, I was diagnosed with cancer about two years ago. And she's like, but you were healed. And I was like, yes, I was. Nine months into the treatment, I was. And she goes, but it came back. And I was like, yes, recently I just found out that my cancer was recurring. And she just went, hmm, a door was open. There was an opening. And of course I was like, what? Me and the Holy Spirit is like this, like this. How can I leave a door open? And she's like, um, no, really, there is an opening. So she looked at me and she's like, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. And I was like, okay. And then she's like, have, is there any unforgiveness? And I was like, no, I, I know, I don't have that. And she's like, how about anger? And I was like, no, I, I'm, I don't carry anger. But then she said, is there any bitterness? And I right away shut up, like a parrot dog, like bitterness, bitterness, bitterness. And all of a sudden, she's like, ah, that bitterness. And then she said, let's pray together. She's like, we're gonna ask two questions for the Holy Spirit to ask you where that bitterness came from and who it is it against. Well, right away, I closed my eyes and the Holy Spirit revealed to me something that happened to me two years ago prior to me being diagnosed of cancer. I was at a deliverance class and you know, it was a remote speaker and she spoke about um, trauma, exactly what Dr. Eichel said, trauma and what the trauma does to the body after a while, okay? So I closed my eyes, I seen that and I was like, wow, that was like two years ago. Why am I still holding that? You know, and then all of a sudden within that uh, memory, another door opened and I seen a man there and my heart sank. And I remember grabbing, um, grabbing Dr. Eichel's hand and looking straight into her eyes and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm holding this grudge against my husband. My husband, the one that I love so much, you know, and she's like, you know, and I, I even say, but I, I forgive him for everything that we, we've done it from the beginning of our marriage. I mean, we're two different persons now. You know, we're totally in love. But she's like, you're still holding on to that grudge. So I was blaming him for my cancer. Who does that? I was blaming him for my cancer. So of course we prayed about it and I, all of a sudden I felt this release, release. You know, and I feel really good. Then the second thing, you know, she's like, oh, I sent something else, you know? And I was like, oh, you know? And then she, she asked me, uh, you know, about death wishes, you know, or negative statement. I was like, oh no, I'm a positive billboard. I'm always positive. I don't say anything negative. And then she goes, well, have you ever said I can't do this anymore? I was like, wow, every time I get chemo radiation, you know, I have a king side bed, and, every, and I throw myself on the king side bed, and I roll from one corner to the other saying, I can't take this anymore, I can't take this anymore, I can't take this anymore. So then she told me, hey, you're, you're putting a death wish upon you. And I was like, whoa, okay. You know, and then um, we prayed about that, you know, and then like I said, like, I felt alive. Like, you know, and she even noticed, I guess, my facial expressions, the way I felt. You know, she's like, wow, you totally look so different. And then she, you know, and I'm like, wow, I should have known these things. But sometimes subconsciously you don't, you know. And that's why the Lord says for us to continue every day to check ourselves, to check ourselves, to check ourselves, you know. And of course, you know, I, I felt so good, you know, and I, I ran home, you know, and, you know, I, I ran right up to my husband. Well, I kind of went in and I slammed the door and I never slammed the door. And he's like, wow, you know what's going on? And I totally told him all about this. And he just looked at me and he's like, you know what? I love you so much. And he knelt down on his knees and he asked me for, the, for forgiveness all over again. And I'm thinking, you know, you know, and I knelt down with him too. And I was like hugging him. I was like, you know, I totally love you. These are just things subconsciously that my 
soul was holding on to it, but now they're gone. Hallelujah. You know, now they're gone. <laughs> so, I, I, you know, I, 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 I told, you know, him, you know, for now on, you know, and then we pray for our, my healing then. You know, after that, you know, she said, now you can pray for your healing. Now you're going to be a sign, wonder, and miracle. Because now there is no more doors that are, you know, open to the enemy. And that is my testimony. So all this, what she said, yes, yes. Anti oncogens that was installed, did you feel that? Yes. The assurance that the cancer will never come back? The assurance that the cancer will yeah. never come back. Yeah. Um, how many of you would like to 